Yo, what's good? It's a kid here, aka your favorite African. And look, y'all, this video, this reaction, is not a normal reaction, right? Today we we're watching, we're reacting to, per se, why dating in 2021 sucks. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the title already. You know? I don't know how I feel about it. But enough of the chit chat, enough of the talk, that we a young lady. So I'm gonna talk about why dating 2021 sucks. I'm gonna give my thoughts, you know, my you know, little, little tidbits throughout the video and see what she says. Let's get into it. Hit that subscribe button right now down below. In today's video, we are going to be talking about why dating sucks in 2021. Okay. If you clicked on this video, you're probably feeling the okay. same exact way as me. Am because I? it feels like there's like no options out there, okay? And that goes for men and women, I suppose. I mean, I'm not dating women, but I made a TikTok about um, how I think all men are like trash these days. And I got a lot of men that aren't even like, I don't even wanna say men, boys that aren't even at my level, like getting so angry and butthurt. So I'm okay, gonna Okay, here it is. I was gonna name this video, Why Men Suck in 2021, but I think I'm just gonna have it as why dating sucks because it does go both ways. Like I feel you, it goes both ways because some women are sucking out here and are subpar as well. But um, I don't date women. Um, I wish I did, but I don't. I'm just like not attracted to women in that way and on, on a romantic level. Before we even start, let me just say this. This doesn't really have to like really do with me because most of the guys I talk to have not been that horrible. I think I've talked to like one horrible guy that was okay. horrible too. That was like disgusting, but everybody else was like really, they weren't bad. For the most part, they just weren't my husband and I knew it. Okay. Um, and I'm looking for a husband out here. So I'm really like using like other women's stories and what I see and like, my peers and what they tell me and just a little bit of what um, I went through just a little bit because it's yeah, a lot of hand motion going on was that horrible they just weren't my husband and didn't do what I expected a husband to do I guess I don't know so let's just start with the list I have a list of why I think dating sucks in 2021 so without further ado let's just get straight into this video number one our generation has an infatuation mm -hmm. with cheating cheating is so incredibly normalized That's the I, I tell all right now, cheating, cheating. What is cheating? I, I don't know these days, you know? Does, does she have a point? I guess. She does. I'll be real, she does. Um, to an extent, cheating has been, I guess, normalized for some, but not everybody. Shouldn't make it seem like cheating is an everyday thing. Like, relax. There's still good guys out there. There's still good girls out there that don't do such, okay? Like, it's two minutes in, and this the energy she's on. This type of energy she's on, I, I, I'm lost for words. A guy like me likes to talk, I'm lost for words. You know what? I'm gonna stop talking. Have women who are bosses who don't even need to go back to these men, going back to these men, and we have men who are doing the cheating who aren't even close to being great guys in general and they're not even worth the time doing the cheating and vice versa because some of you women are out here damaging the good guys and you know men ah! are people's, like they can't go back for like another 10 years and you're just ruining the chips for the rest of us like if you're gonna cheat a relationship that most likely means you're not ready for one no. why cheat if you could be single oh. i don't get it i i just i just uh, uh, that was deep y'all get that why cheat if you can be single Do not get it. It has never crossed my mind in a million years to cheat on my partner. I just don't that's understand. Like I could be like the me, ugliest I don't do dude such. ever that has like that's just crappy and horrible, and I won't cheat. I'll just leave. I I, I I I don't get it. Like come on. I think cheating is bottom barrel emotional abuse, and I'm just okay. gonna say it like that. I think cheating is emotional abuse, whether you're a man or a woman. If you cheat, you are literally scum on the bottom of a shoe. Okay. And um, I just hope karma comes to bite you in the butt because that's not cool. Oh. You literally will ruin someone by cheating. Like I'm still trying to recover from that. Like I don't trust any guy. <laughs> like it's so bad. Like I've been cheated on before, and I was cheated on by someone I really trusted. And I, I'm still trying to just not let that person ruin all my other future relationships because I just don't trust anyone. I just don't want to give okay. my all in to get hurt again. Like, you would think that someone, like, the people that you trust the most or you think would never hurt Okay, you. what's her name? Tony? I think it's Tony. Tony, yeah, slow it down. Girl, is it Tony? Let me make sure. Yeah, Tony. Tony, come on. Like, girl, it's, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta slow down a little bit, right? You gotta, you gotta slow down a little bit. Going a bit too fast. Like, come on now. Just, 
Chill. Like, come on, huh? They're the ones that hurt you the most. Okay. Just seeing the comments underneath the Justin LA Boys post on Instagram. If y'all know that account, y'all know. Y'all know. If you don't know, find out in the comments down below. The amount of women and men that like talk about cheating and like they joke about it like it's funny like either whether they're getting cheated on or doing the cheating is mm. just so sad like child relationships are just a joke these days like people really don't take that commitment seriously because like i said if you're my boyfriend isn't the purpose for us to get married because that's like the next step what am i dating for if i don't see you as a husband but you know what it is what it is that's the number one reason why okay. i say dating in 2021 sucks on to the next <laughs> number two men give the bare minimum okay now this what do you why men why do you hate the guys out there so much men give the bare minimum they give the bare minimum what's going on here like you, you can't be putting this with all the guys out there all right just good guys I don't use myself as an example, you know, I don't want to do that, but there's good guys out there that don't do such. And you're putting this, this title over everybody. You're calling the good guys and that, I don't think that should be done. All right? They're... Let me calm down, all right? Let me hear what you have to say, and I might, you know, put a little tidbits into there too. For women as well, but I feel like, this is how I feel, like I said, I'm a traditionalist. I feel like men should be swooning and trying to pursue a woman by, uh, I guess, what do you call them, courting them. Men don't open car doors. Like, I'm, let me stop, because I said, y'all can get offended in the comments. It's always brokies. Like, y'all say, oh, it's always the brokies. Like, you whoa, can't Whoa, 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 brokies? These are my broke boys. Not me. Not me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I get my... I get my little bag a little bit, you know. I do my little thing, you know what I'm saying? I do my little thing, you know what I'm saying? So, she can't be talking about me. Me, <laughs> you can't get next to me. But anyways, a lot of men, but let me just say this, it's not the norm for a man to open car doors. They don't bring you flowers on your first date. They don't check in and make sure you're home. You know, some men don't even wait until you get into the door before they drive off. What? Like, this is ridiculous. I'm like, who is raising these boys? I just don't get it. Like, ugh. It's just the little things. After you get the girl you want, you don't stop. You keep going. Yes, get her. If she's into flowers, give her flowers every, I don't know, every Wednesday or surprise her with flowers every once in a while. Write her a letter. And I think women, you guys should do the same thing. Like, I feel like in relationships, like, it's okay to, like, be sentimental a little bit. Like, in my next relationship, I'm going to be doing all the romantic lovey-dovey stuff because... I just think it's nice to do and for both parties to do it like mm. the man and the woman i think in the beginning a man definitely needs to pursue a woman and they need to put their 100 percent in but once i have a question real quick i have a question um why is that like women can't pursue men it's always the, the guy to grab the woman gotta go get them go catch them but how come women can't catch us Is that like abomination? Like, someone let me know, but like, what, 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 what's going on here? It's so, always the guy, go get him. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing a question out there. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear from y'all, how y'all feel about it, but listen, my hands are, my hands in the air. I don't know. Do that and you see that they really like you, you should be doing it as well, you know? Like, just like the little things. Like for me, I'm not like the type when I'm dating, like to like, um, just do the random gifts and blah 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 i'm more so like i'll go out all out for you like on the holidays your birthday and sometimes even randomly but like there's just certain customs i think that men should follow but yeah everybody gets the bare minimum no one really tries people just think kicking it inside your basement at your mom's house is cool and watching movies no take me out like i just don't i don't get it but yeah that's my number two reason everybody is given the bare minimum so how are you supposed to get into these amazing relationships if everyone's given the bare minimum i don't know Okay. <laughs> Number three, the dates are subpar. Woo, child. These dates. No, I do not want to just get food on every single date. On the first date, we do not always have to go get food. Can we be adventurous? Woo, please preach it, Jesus. I don't know if I can finish this, guys. 
guys and girls, I don't I don't know if I can finish it. Um, I understand she's giving her own, her own opinion, right? But um, I don't remember going dates when it's just about food. You know, I, I, I just that's just me. Get my little tidbits, but what is I don't get. It's all days about food. It's, it's not. People go to arcade. People go to this and that and this and that. Like, bro, I feel like it's kind of stereotypical at this point. I'm not talking about food days. Like, what, 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 what are you talking about? You know, I don't know if I can finish this guy. You see, I'm trying to do my breathing exercises. It's, it's tough. I'm telling you, let's finish. It's I don't tough, understand man. why. It's, it's tough. Like, I love food. Don't get me wrong, but I would be extremely impressed by the next dude that says to me, "Hey." Let's go, I don't know, go-karting. Something different. We can eat after. <laughs> can we do something outside of just food? Like, there is go-karting, hiking, picnics. Uh, spend the night, well, this is like for couples that are a little bit more advanced in their relationship. Spend the night at a hotel for a night. Something. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like let's go to Colorado. Let's let's find a random what? place. What? Oh, what? <laughs> Did she say let's go to Colorado? And it's, oh, now everybody has money. We're just going to places. We're going to Cancun next. So you know what? Let's go to Paris. Come on now. Don't, don't, no, no. Let's go to Wisconsin. And Wisconsin? Wisconsin. 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 Exciting! Like the days are so so far, and like once again, once a guy gets a girl, you have to keep pursuing her until you make her your wife, and then after you make her your wife, you do even more because that woman most likely will be pushing out your big headed kids. So you need to worship the ground she walks on. Period. Okay. But yes, please be more adventurous with the dates, and even if you know, even if you want to do dinner, say like food's y'all thing. I don't know. Can we find some nice restaurants, um. some different, unique experience restaurants? Like if you live in like near the city or something, like or any city, I'm sure there are some really interesting, cool restaurants. Like let's do an escape room. Let's, I don't know, go to the trampoline park. Let's go skydiving. Something cool. A helicopter ride. Something. And make sure you got my flowers with me and opening my car door and opening doors for me. Like, please. Oh my word. Like, it's the little things for me. The okay, listen. In the beginning of the video, she's talking about how she's not even talking about herself or something like that. But she's talking about her, like, her peers' experiences or their stories. But it feels like she's talking about her past. All right? That's that. I gotta keep it about. I gotta keep it real. You know what I'm saying? It feels like she might be, you know what I'm saying? Talking about her past. No. I'm just saying. I'm just, you know, I'm just talking at this point. You know, it's just me talking. You know, it's just Bobby just talking, you know? Thanks. That's, that, that's my opinion on that. <laughs> Number four. Marriage is not valued. Woo! Can I get an amen? No. I totally did a video on this, on the Baby Mama Culture video. If y'all want to check that out, I'm going to leave it up here or here, wherever it goes. It's, People it's are pushing nowhere. out children before getting married. They are putting themselves so close to death for a man that does not want to marry them. Ooh, child. Okay. I'm so tired of reading and seeing people say marriage is just a piece of paper. Well, I guess the birth certificate is just a piece of paper too. Oh my word. Why is marriage not valued these days? The amount of baby showers we see more than marriage, especially in the black community, child, it breaks my heart because that's all I want in this life. I want to get married. Not all I want. Please, let's relax. Um, <laughs> but I want to get married to the love of my life. I want to walk down the aisle boohoo crying in tears i love love i want to be loved i want to be appreciated i want a man to look at me and be like yo i want to marry this girl because she's everything that i've ever wanted in this world what is wrong with getting married why is a baby the new marriage certificate now don't get me wrong babies are blessings they're beautiful we, i love babies and i want babies but i ain't giving no babies ain't pushing out no babies till you buy the rock period because it ain't happening no, 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 you got the wrong one. A lot of these women are just give, letting men give them the bare minimum and vice versa, men, you guys deserve the world too. If you're a good guy, get you a woman that's gonna treat you like a king, okay? And that's only if you're doing- Where are they at? Where are they at? He's like, get your woman, treat me like a king. Where are they at? Dang. I need you to cook. Where? I'm looking. I'm looking. I can't find them. Duties. Okay? Treat her like a queen as well. 
But yeah, y'all, men and women, uh -huh, please put those standards up. Y'all know what y'all deserve. Please, let, let's keep it real. Keep them standards high. <laughs> Number five, boring. Huh? <laughs> the amount of men that I talk to that just text me every day, what are you doing? How are you? How was your day? Uh, uh, y'all are boring. Do better. I could talk about anything. Like, anytime I'm on a date, I could talk, talk, talk. Because but then it's like the man, he can never just talk. Like, we could, let's have a conversation. Let's talk about something interesting. Like, why do we, I don't understand why having a conversation is like pulling teeth. Oh my word. The amount of relationships that I know y'all be trying to act like, oh, <laughs> we laugh together. We're like besties. No, y'all not. If you cannot talk to your man about some deep stuff, that's not your man. If you can't talk to your girl about some deep stuff, that's not your girl. Like, we should be able to have real conversations. We should be able to have deep conversations. We should be able to look at some, I don't know, crime documentary and we can actually really talk about the situation. I don't know, it's just like, so many men are so boring. I've talked to only mm, make two guys. Two guys that I was genuinely interested in talking to them because they literally- How many guys have you talked to? Uh, how many guys have you talked to? That you've gotten to this, you know, conclusion that, you know, a lot of guys are boring. How many? Making seem talk today, that's a lot. So how many? Okay, what you're saying is it's getting ridiculous, all right? Ah, you know what? Let me back up. Hey, look, she has a little point. Some people get boring. I get that. But she's trying to make it seem like all guys are boring. Stop, don't do that, man. Huh? You know a guy like me, I don't like texting in the first place. You know what I'm saying? I'm more FaceTime, you know what I mean? I'm a pretty type of guy, but I might have to skip forward, Keep guys. Keep the conversation this is, going and going. It didn't work know, out. I don't know. But, I don't know. no, like, know. they were the only two that actually were interesting to talk to. And I talked to quite a few guys, and they're just boring. And it's like, I like to How laugh. Many? I like to do silly things. <laughs> Number six, dating online. So... It's extremely hard these days to meet in person. And I also feel like a lot of guys are scared to approach in person, and even women, because I know I'm terrified. I can't do the approaching stuff. I'm trying to work on that. I think there'd be, you know, I feel like women, we should start doing the pursuing as well. Like, don't let a man pursue you. I like that, man. I like that, man. That's a good put right there, man. <laughs> I like that. You, see, you know what I'm saying? Try to come for me, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I'm not asking too much, am I? Just try to come for me. You know what I'm saying? To be able to pursue them as well. Like, a lot of relationships I got into, well, not even relationships, situationships. No, just dating. Just Entanglements. I kind of let them, like, I wasn't really attracted to them, but they were attracted to me. We should be the ones picking, because we know what we want, but we just be settling because we're letting these men pick us. Like, that's not cute. We gotta stop that. Our only way to meet people is online, so that's whether through dating apps, that's through Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So it is really hard to generally get to know someone. So, like, if a guy, like, most guys aren't going to, like, really put that much effort in for a girl they don't know. Like, I know, like, my mom would be like, oh, if he, like, really likes you he'll make sure to double text if he don't know me like yeah i'm a cute girl but if he don't know me he's not gonna double text me there's plenty of proof. oh she's, she's talking about stuff now okay yeah, she talk, she's talking about stuff now okay i'll see you i see you world you know but if he knew me in person and like actually like me like oh this girl's really dope like i would really get to know i would really want to get to know her more he'd probably put in more effort. So that's at least my opinion. I don't really know how men operate in that regard. Yeah, it's just kind of hard to really get to know somebody if you don't know them initially or you can't meet them in person and really feel their energy. And also saves a lot of time from just texting somebody that y'all probably have nothing in common. You probably won't even like each other if you knew them originally in person. So dating online is like the new thing, especially with, of course, not even just like with Corona, Miss COVID, but also just like, that's like a lot of people just meet online now because people don't know how to talk in person, so. And lucky number seven, which I I've kind of said already i'm a very high maintenance girl i like nice things i like mm. to be spoiled and oh. i also like the little things i like a, like a guy sending me flowers just sending me chocolate covered strawberries chocolate um writing me a letter sending me a text in the morning say good morning every morning like that's just like the little things it's just like those little expectations mean so so much that's why i say high maintenance and there's so much that i want like my husband 
is a hard-working man. He's not just sitting on his butt, not doing anything. Like, there's things that I expect in this world, and no, I'm not going to settle. Because that's what a lot of men on, my, on that TikTok were talking about, was that I need to settle, and I'm, high, I'm too high-maintenance, and that's why I won't get a good guy. What? Women, do not lower your standards for no man. If y'all know what y'all want, you make sure you get it, and that's on period. I'm going... If Listen, I understand you high-maintenance. I understand you got like that, right? I, I get it, but, like, the whole, like, yeah, send me this and that, this and that give you this and that, this and that, like, some guys in situations that they don't have the bands to be spending money like that, you feel know I me? Mean? Not everything's sweet, you feel me? Some guys don't, not, not the NBA, not the NFL, they don't got that, that money to be doing this, right? So like, come on. What the NBA players do with the NBA players, or whatever. But you know, not, not every guy out there is rich. Not all Bill Gates. Like, come on, man. Like. I'll be single for the next five years. I'll be single for the next five years until I find my freaking king. Okay? We're not doing that. Like, me watching Bridgerton, I'm like, dang, I wish men were still like that today. But the only thing about Bridgerton times, that's like from like the early 1800s, is that women really couldn't do much. And I like to be a go getter as well. But just like the idea of men pursuing you, and then also like, most men at that time had it together, it seemed like. I don't know, because I wasn't around that during that time, but yeah. I'm high maintenance, I'm not changing it for anybody. This is who I am, this is how I'm always gonna be. So you either suck it up or keep it moving, okay? <laughs> All right guys, so that is the seven reasons why I think dating sucks in 2021. There are a lot of things that need to be fixed and I hope- All right, I'm gonna just stop right there because somebody sent me all her points. Um, so this whole video was interesting. Right. It was listen, I don't really react to stuff like this, right? Come on, when, when I react to stuff like this, I have a lot to say. And if y'all can tell, it's about a, how long the video is already, probably like 18, 19 minutes, whatever. Um This is you know, I get it. Everybody feels top tier. I don't know. I, she has a lot of confidence in herself, which is amazing, right? I wish I had that type of confidence that she has in herself that I have in myself, right? Um, that's something I'm working on. But like, come on, not everybody's rich. Not everybody got the bands to be doing this and that, saying you chocolate covered strawberries every single week and doing this and doing that, going to Colorado and going to Wisconsin. Like, bro, I just want to, what is this? Like, I'm just, I understand that she has, you know, high expectations. That's that's cool. We can't complain where we can't complain when you know guys you know, don't got like that. They're trying to go after you and like, oh my goodness, you're not taking me this? Like, no, nah, like come on now. Can't complain then. Cause not everybody's rich. Like, come on now. So this this video, as you can I tell, it, it's, it's taking me there. It's taking me there a little bit. But she just have some good points how like you know, men are, I don't know. At this point, I don't know what point she even had anymore. So so fast, I don't even know anymore, all right? I don't want to make this video any longer. You guys understand how I feel about the video, kind of. Tell me how you feel about the video in the comments below. Tell me your thoughts, um, how you feel about what she said and her opinions and her points and her takes and all that good stuff. And then what I said and how you guys feel about it, you know? And then they, not everybody's right. I get that. Everybody has their own opinion on things. So let me know. Make sure y'all comment, as I just said. Make sure to subscribe, make sure you like, show it a friend with a friend with a friend, share it to your mom, mom, sister's mom, dad, mom, right? You should share this, make sure to share it to everybody, right? Hey, look, it's the kid, I'm gone, peace.